Welcome to Benjamin TV and today we're going to be talking about the healthy and delicious guacamole. Anybody can make it, it's quick, it's easy, and you can have it for pretty much any meal depending on how you use it. I actually call this recipe the perfect 10 guacamole because there's only 10 ingredients. How easy is that? Let's go right into the ingredients right now. Avocados. Soft but not too soft. You want to taste chunks. Next, you got some lime juice. Great flavor and helps keep the uh, avocados from turning brown. Cilantro, oh yeah, this is the stuff. Can't go without it. Coarsely chopped, of course. Want to get all that flavor. Next, tomatoes. I love my sweet cherry and plum tomatoes. You can use any tomatoes, but make sure you keep some of the juice to add a little bit more flavor. Oh yeah. Oh, and it adds color too. Next. Onions. I'm using green onions, but you can use white, yellow. Make sure you mince them up till mush so that you don't get chunks of onion in your guac. Here comes the heat. Jalapeno. Uh, you always have to have a jalapeno. Adds a nice kick and uh, make sure you mince it up to mush as well because you don't want chunks of that either. Of course, ground pepper. Mm -hmm. Cumin. Great Mexican flavor that goes great with guac. Of course, salt. Coarsely ground if you can, but regular salt will work. La! Sriracha, baby. This is the ingredient that has changed my guac. You gotta have it. If you don't, add a little more jalapeno, but I'm telling you, this is gonna give you a kick, and there's a lot of garlic in there, too. Lime juice to top it off. Potato masher, the 11th ingredient. The secret ingredient. Well, actually, it's just a tool. But this is gonna give my guac a consistency that's chunky, Let's all the flavors mold together, but tasting the avocados. Go ahead and take your masher and mash each individual avocado half, okay? Once you're done with this, you're pretty close to done. You're gonna want chunks in there, and go ahead and just take those bigger chunks and mash them one more time, but at this point, just go ahead and stop. Stop what you're doing. You're gonna be tempted to mash more, but just don't. You're gonna want that chunkiness, and trust me, the flavor you get out of it is great. Just grab a spoon and you're gonna mix the rest of it that's unmixed. At this point, you can add a little bit of lime juice, salt, pepper, sriracha, just to taste it to the way you like to have your guac. Mix it up, and it's pretty much ready. Everything's all mixed up, but you got chunks of avocado. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that chip. That's good stuff. Mm-mm. You'll want to put that on everything, trust me. You guys asked for a healthy dish. I really feel like this is the most healthy snack that I would just enjoy at any time of the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, midnight snack, whatever, and it's gonna be a good thing. It's gonna hit the spot. Make sure you subscribe, like if you like this video, and make sure you put a comment of what kind of healthy foods or any kind of food um, recipes you wanna see. This is Benjamin TV. Thanks for watching. Cook, but trust me, by the time it gets to the table, it'll be nice and fluffy and cooked through, but let me just taste it right now. Amazing.